Okay, let's get started. And it's that time of the week again when we put what women have been up to or indeed saying about other women under the microscope in our feature, It's a Woman's World. First up, actress Felicity Kendall has been speaking to the Mail on Sunday about her frustrations with labelling her long-term relationship with Michael Rudman. I know everyone does it where you say, this is my partner, but this isn't a business. We're not a limited company. I'm not a partner. I'm not running a financial organisation. He's my boyfriend, she said. So, is it okay for a woman of a certain age to still call her man her boyfriend, Carol? Yes, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. I agree with her. I hate that kind of, this is my partner. You know, like, I just, it, she's right. It's not a business. It's not a contract. It's... I, I love the word boyfriend. In fact, I used Do to call, you? Yeah, if, if someone used to look at me, I used to call them my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. That I was just, wishful thinking. I, I did, honestly. <laughs> if I was in a bar and someone was talking to me, the next day I'd come in and say, oh, I've got a new boyfriend. Oh, oh, that's, that's my boyfriend <laughs> over there. Danny Dyer was my boyfriend for ages. That's and so true. was Russell Brand, you know. You nearly oh, forgot yes. his name. Yes. Russell. Russell. Oh, oh, oh. It's been so long. It has. But no, now I do, I do love calling Mark my boyfriend. Even though he's my fiance, I do still calling my boyfriend and I, I love it when he calls me his girlfriend and oh. I think it's because I've never had I mean I have had a lot of um, relationships <laughs> and boys in my life but I've never actually had that conversation where you say to someone are you mm, my boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Am I your girlfriend? Mm. Yes, and then it becomes official. I love it. Oh, I just I, love it. I'm I not going to stop. I couldn't ever have done that. I could never have called Peter my boyfriend. I mean, he was nearly 40 when I met him, for goodness sake. What's that got well, to do with it? I think if you're under 30, that, I, I think it's an age thing. I, I, I'd feel comfortable if, you know, Mark was my boyfriend. Ha Because uh, I think under 30... <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> I think She's that would young. be fine. But, um, but I agree with Felicity. I don't like the term partner at all. No. I, th I think it's a horrible. It's, it's, it's what people... People talk what they call themselves when they, they're together, but actually, and they're in a married relationship, but they don't want to be called yeah, married. Yeah. I mean, I've got a friend who's been with her partner for 40 years and has got mm. three kids, and, and they don't want to get married and their partners. But I, I just don't I like think as it. well, these days, when Myself. people say partner, you don't know whether they mean male or female. That's so true. it can lead to some yeah. very embarrassing yeah. conversations yeah. sometimes yeah. when you're not quite sure exactly so how it's going. What did you call Peter when you introduced him to people? Did you say, This is my doctor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my personal doctor. <laughs> My man. Well, don't you think we need a new term? Yeah, I mean, because if you're in a long term, you know, sort of casual issue. Well, my, my granny had a, had a boyfriend uh. right up until she died, and she, she was uh, 78, 79. And um, he was called Willie. He was lovely. Hello, Willie, if you're watching. Um, and she called him her beau. Oh. And I thought that was a, a lovely turn, a really old-fashioned yeah. turn. They used to, you know, he'd, they would, would, they'd step out together and yeah. go to the tea dances, oh, you know, and, and this sort I of thing. I, I don't like any labels. I think it's horrible to have a label. My boyfriend, my girlfriend, my husband, my wife. I hate partner. My brother's been married to, not married, I mean, they've been together for 34 years, and he just says Miami. So why oh. can't you just call somebody their name? Mm. I hate it. I remember somebody coming up to me not long ago and saying, have you got a boyfriend. They went, no, no, don't say boyfriend. You don't want a boyfriend, you want a man, don't yes, you? Yes, I want a yes, boy, I want a man. man. I don't, a gynecologist would do. To <laughs> <laughs> Fashion editor Lisa Armstrong has been investigating what women really want when they go clothes shopping. Uh, visiting a high street department store, one lady working in the underwear department disclosed that you wouldn't believe how many men come in here buying red satin sets for their girlfriends and how many girlfriends come back to exchange them for sports bras and spanks. <laughs> so, um, are us girls more likely to trust other women uh, to choose the right sort of things, whether it's under or outer garments? Well, I, I wouldn't trust anybody really to go and do my shopping for me. I'd rather do it myself. Mm. But I, I, uh, I, I hate saying this because it's not very sisterly. But I don't really, I don't really trust women as far as clothes are concerned. And I'll tell you why because I have certain things in my wardrobe which I, I don't, I haven't thrown away because they were quite expensive. And they're the things, the things that I really don't like are all the things that I've bought when I've been shopping with other women. Mm. <laughs> are they? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Well, why but, do they do that then? Do you think? <laughs> 
I don't know. I think women have got this inbuilt thing that they don't Want other women to look better than men? Oh. I do. Oh. You see, I know it's terrible. I could buy for you. I've probably done it. I, I could, could buy for you. Yeah, go on. Well, I'd get a lovely flowery maxi dress with pretty petals on and a mop hat with a big bow on it. <laughs> I think that would make her look nice, don't you? See, <laughs> I rest my case. You see, you want me to wear something that I just wouldn't wear that doesn't suit me. Yes, yeah, so you, you look would stupid stand there and go, you look absolutely you fantastic. You know, Sarah, I think I could buy for you because I think you and I've got fairly similar taste and we like things that have oh no not shapes i'd love to have carol shape a lot <laughs> taller um but we like quite plain things and i know if you rang me in a panic and said i need something for tonight i want it to be straight i think i would kind of know where to go to you might have a good idea yeah if you only if you put carol in a black plastic bag she'd, she'd look, look good, good to be honest true. She's, she's, she's just one of those sort of people. i used to go out in a well, black plastic bag <laughs> <laughs> i did when i was a punk rocker well, that's what i used to see, wear see, oh, see. But I, I must have just say the one fine. person that was really good at choosing clothes was my ex he could really he had fantastic style so like suits and jackets and things he was very very good at that i will give him that i was just going to say the same actually. really well yeah my peter's brilliant he honestly loves going shopping for women's clothes he really does and i mean he likes nothing better <laughs> women's well clothes. excuse me yeah and he <laughs> not for me that is and he loves just sticking me in the cubicle and just passing me things to put on he just oh. says here this will look lovely on you try what, and nice, he's always nice right and underwear and things. Well, not, no 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 we draw draw the line draw the line not underwear no i wouldn't trust anybody to, i don't know how anybody would buy a bra for, for you because no. it's like a hammock isn't it <laughs> <laughs> no i mean i mean that in the nicest possible changing sense. the subject now sherry <laughs> Because they're very big. Actually, and... talking of underwear, I have to say, when I was playing uh, the Mother Abbess in The Sound of Music, I was very depressed about wearing this one p very plain black frock. I mean, no offence to nuns. I love nuns and everything, but, you know, serge is just not my fabric. And so the, <laughs> the wardrobe mistress said, well, why don't, we, why don't we get you some nice underwear to go under it so you, you know, just cheer you up a bit? And they got me some Ajon Provocateur underwear, which was... <laughs> which I'd never bought myself, but it didn't under really go with nuns. the under the nuns habit. habit. I didn't like it, actually. It didn't feel right. It wasn't right for my character. Oh, oh I shall <laughs> never look at a nun in, a, in the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's why you should wear good underwear, because yeah. it does make you feel sexy. You, you have do. to wear it matching all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. That's she true. does. I yeah. do. You never know when you get, might hit, get hit by a bus. That's what I think. Always be matching. I'm not thinking about getting hit by a bus when I put my underwear on. <laughs> I like a man, maybe. <laughs> OK, so I'm